at first you might not love it when you first encounter it, but once you develop an ownership of the material and a mastery of the material, then you can't stop talking about it. And so what you got to do is you got to find other people who feel the same way. As for the students who haven't yet learned that to love it, if you could just see the patterns, you can then demystify these exams and you'll see, hey, if you can do the practice ones, you can do the actual as well. It's the same thing, just with different window dressing. There's really a limited set of things they're testing you on. And so in exams like this, where they make so many of the previous test forms available, if you even just look at a handful of them and you analyze them the right way, you will see those patterns and then you'll be well prepared to go into test day. They're very clever in the tricks they create, but in a way they're also kind of lazy in that they reuse their best tricks. They're like, this one was fantastic. This initial logical reasoning question on the LSAT was about climate change. Let's make it instead about heart disease or car accidents. So the trick underlying it is the same, just the window dressing is different. That's one of the benefits of studying these old exams that you see the new ones, just the same thing. It's about spotting these patterns, understanding the reasoning, and then just reapplying it to different situations. If I could see the exam from the test maker's perspective and see those patterns, that's when everything radically shifted for me. But I'm not a standardized test geek by any stretch. I did not apply any of this mindset to the SAT back when I was studying it or any of those other exams I took up to that point. The LSAT was really where it changed for me. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.